Hey guys, Queen Honey here. Did you like my voice? Well in my case, I don't really like my voice at the moment, and I don't have any choices to choose from, so yet. Since my last video got a copyright strike from YouTube which sucks, I have to halt my treasure content for a while. So, for now, I'll going to continue my Good Girl series and here is our continuation. If you want to watch my Good Girl's iconic moments that had me shook, and my top 10 Good Girl performances and songs, I'll put all the links in the description box below. Before I start, I just wanted to say thank you, because we reached 1000 subscribers. I still can't believe I have that much of subscribers. Anyway, thank you very much. Even though Emnet is a freaking snake, I must say that airing Good Girl was one of their best decision that they ever made so far. So yeah, let's give Emnet a benefit of the doubt here. Y'all need to watch Good Girl. Period. I like this show more than Unpretty Rap Star series because there was no drama in the show. They really stick to their tagline this is a team not a competition. What a nice concept of the show. It creates a new viewpoint to the people where women just supporting each other instead of pitting against each other, which is very refreshing to see. The show casted 10 different artists from idols to soloist, from veterans to rookies, from mainstream to underground artists, from singers to dancers to rappers. They come from different genres of Korean music which was really surprising and I really love the lineup to be honest. It's amazing how the girls really blended together that if they were an actual group, they'll dominate the charts. Period. That's the one thing that I love about the show. No eliminations of contestants which is the only reason why I watched the show. They just need to compete with their opponent and if they won in a quest, they will get a flex money which around 10 million Korean won. And if they lost, the flex money goes to their opponents. The whole show in a nutshell was iconic, every episode was gag worthy and it has so many surprises. From performances, the vocals, everything in the show was perfect. So, if you have time to watch Good Girl, you have to watch it now. Go watch Good Girl. Period. When I say Good Girl tracks were god tier bops. It's really a freaking bop. Even though the show was considered a hip hop genre inclined, they give a wide variety of bops that were a song of the year material. From Turl to Shinto Booty, from Don't Cry For Me to Witch, every song that was produced from Good Girl is a bop, also, the songs that were produced by their opponent, was also a bop. You may say that she was problematic because of what she has done from her past to present. You can't deny the fact that because of her, the show has gained attention from the general public and it gained new viewers, from this to this. In conclusion, Queen Wasabi shook the whole South Korea. Period. In this show, the good girl contestant was given an opportunity to showcase what they really got and show a new side of them, from Jimin Park, now called as Jamie, to Yeon. Every good girl contestant showcased their talents that they didn't show. Before Good Girl ended, it was actually aired for 10 episodes, but it was down to 8 episodes. So, in conclusion, Good Girl deserves more. Period. Good Girl need to have a season 2, even it is not the same cast anymore. We really need a season 2. Period. So, that's pretty much it. If I miss out something, just comment it down below.